roughly between 50 to 100 books. So which uh, definitely more will be a re- will go around sign to after I, which I have dubbed myself the Mayor of Quickville, in this glorious shopping, in this glorious two-story shopping mall. Ah, that's it's glorious. I actually have plans that I have uh, made in computer aid drafting and design, which I will present to this video near the end of the, near the end of this video. Anyway, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, we can definitely franchise and all this. You know, even ideas of a uh, Pokemon Lightning version where players can catch Sanchi and Roshu in the wild, even breed them to make the other individual Electric Hedgehog characters that have been portrayed in the books, such as Wild, Bubbles, Angelica, Punchy, and Magichan, among others that have also been created as well. Due to the, uh, you know, processes of the evolution stones, and daytime, nighttime evolution, friendship, all that good stuff. All in the files here, including the little baby form, Sonny and Rosie, to uh, evolutions from original Sonny and Rose to Metonic and Vanprosa, which uh, those characters are also featured on the Wikipedia, at least on Sonny's page. I'm planning on making a page for Rose to herself on that note. But anyway, this 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 Sonny franchise it has big a number of fans. I even have number of fan submissions like this here is a uh, draw, is a piece of fan art that came from a girl I knew in Australia and that's a postcard sent from her right there she uh, also uh, created a couple a uh, Sanchi and Rose too that's uh, featured in the number nine book I'm currently drawing go by his name in book Chloe and Blaze Bob anyway also on, on the flip side of this page is from somebody else it's the, possibly the best Sanchi fan art ever look at that that's going to be the uh, cover of the uh, first book that's just based on Sanchi, which will definitely be after number 10, which this one will be the cover of. Mm, this one came from uh, Zoreku Zawald. Uh, that's his YouTube name. Yeah, also, you know, I've received uh, fan art in the snail mail. Those are appearing off the internet. Like this lovely one that came from, uh, that came from a lovely one named Allie in Sun Valley, California. Thank you. Thank you very much. And from that, you know, that's, you know, she could have done a little better, like, you know, you know, Rosie's tail was wrong, but I'll forgive her. But still, through my own version of it. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, and plus, you know, local art in Charlottesville, an, art, an artist did caricature of me. I, prov- I included that in the number nine board book on a billboard. There's another fun piece of fan art that comes from, uh, B.C. Uh... Okay, I can't, uh, Vancouver, BC, yeah. Anyway, yeah, very famous, very, very famous, yep. Uh, this one's just a fan letter from a, from a Julian, Ohio. Mm. It's a little piece of fan art from a, uh, from somebody who's possibly, uh, Japanese, who lives here in Virginia. Oh, about that. And also recently, uh, this uh, guy here, uh, Jason Darling, thank you very much. I got your package. Then the uh, replica of my medallion, which, in this, which uh, you know, this one here is the original that I made myself with my own hands from Crayola Model Magic and acrylic paints. In the comic books, this allows me to transform the Chris Chan Sancho, which that is described in the comic book pages as opposed to the Wikipedia. Also sent me a pack of Maple Story cards. So, again, thank you, Jason. I appreciate your encouragement as well as... Uh, Everybody else's. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. I picked up. I also received a fan CD from uh, from a uh, E.K. Jones and Texas. Oh, here's another here's another fun one that's recent. Look at this envelope. Isn't that cute? That's fun. And then they did computer art over there. This came all the way from Portland, Oregon, I believe it is. And then I got various other fan letters in, in this page. Uh, I pull them out, but, you know, they're in, I just left them in their envelopes. No nope, fan art there. But anyway, also aside from that, uh, I, have def- I have definitely made a set of train, my homemade Pokemon train cards, which I uh, use, which I keep at home for art's sake. A whole, I have got, like, a whole, a whole lot of them here. This could definitely branch out. And the very 
profitable thing, both for between Nintendo and Sega, and also with Sony, also possibly with Sony, with uh, you know, with the also with uh, the anime show that maybe, maybe Cartoon Network and their people can help me out on it when that when that TV show gets run. Where I'll voice, where I will be happy to, where I'll be the director and I will be voicing myself and Science Shoot. Listen to the difference. Okay, this is me, Christian Weston Chandler, and this will be Science Shoot. Hey, you know, Shoot, let's go out and zap to the extreme. We got some bad guys to defeat. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Hmm, a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, running low on time. Uh, just a couple of other things of interest. Uh, Science Shoot was also previously featured in May 2004 in this issue that's in the Power Magazine in the Crossing Quarterly with a uh, submission from my Animal Crossing game for Nintendo GameCube. Currently also available on, in other titles on DS and Nintendo Wii. And also, uh, and shortly after that, it was featured in a newsletter at the, Piedmont, at my, at the local Piedmont Virginia Community College, among uh, other published things. Also, uh, when the website was originally just CWC Science, you say I had my own news dash newsletters that lasted a short while. Hmm. I should, yeah, but any, yeah, but anyway, I'll be putting those in the ticket for the too. Anyway, here I'll show you the uh, just the uh, whole layout of the Quick Bill Shopping Center. I actually have all these printouts from my computer aid drafting class, computer aid drafting and design classes. But this is the last one right before I graduated from Piedmont Virginia College with my degree and certificate in computer aid drafting design. It's very, it's very good. I mean, I would just imagine this in real life. It would even have a Pokemon Center in there, like the one New York used to have before it turned into a Nintendo World USA. It should have stayed a Pokemon Center. Now that was definitely better appeal than just Nintendo. Than just Nintendo even though yes, Nintendo has the rights and everything, but. It was the Pokemon Center. I mean, if the if the Quickville Shopping Center does get built, let's agree to put a Pokemon Center in it. And it has a mayor's office right here above the front of, of the of the main front entrance of the building, which has as portrayed in the comic book series. And a whole bunch of other stuff I have in here is just side stuff from my my and whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll pretty much uh, take care of it for uh, this por this portion of the uh, video. So the next video to follow this one will be the PowerPoint presentation. So I will be reading audio. I will be reading from that and pointing the camera towards the PC thing. So to uh, Nintendo, Sega, and Sony, and all the other companies interested in franchising with me here, I await your call to my home phone number or my cell phone. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.